Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you the new functionality that allows you to add depth of field or that nice soft blur, that bouquet look that a lot of photographers are going for. It's now super easy to do inside Photoshop. It's literally one click now. So let's just go ahead and delete this top copy. Start from scratch. The first step, you wanna go up to the top, go to Filter, and then go to Camera Raw Filter. When you open up Camera Raw Filter, about three quarters of the way down, you're gonna see Lens Blur. This is all new, it's in early access. Now, you can go ahead and click on that to get approved, I've already done that. And then bang, it's going to work. The next step, literally, is I'm just gonna check that Apply box. Now watch this, just watch the little screen here. It'll take a few seconds. And then presto, I'm now in the synthetic mode. So this is the uh, synthetic AI showing me what's in focus and what's out of focus. But when I turn visualize depth off, look at this. When I go down to the 100%, you'll see everything in the background pretty much is blurred. I can go down to zero and nothing's blurred. So for most people, this is really all you need to do. If you want to go a little bit further, you can go ahead and do that. You can say here, you can change the bouquet. Uh, right now it's set to default, which is the modern circular lens. But if you want to go a little further, there's a bubble stand. There's a bubble which uses standard circular shapes. And then it just goes right down into crazy town. You can use this S blade, I believe that is, or is that a five blade? Uh, all these different bouquet effects and you can adjust the intensity of it as well here. I find the intensity doesn't do too much, at least at this time, but it may do so in the future. More importantly though, there is the focal range. When I do this, watch this, when I move this little box out here, it's gonna make some changes. See here, when it's down all the way to the left, everything's pretty much out of focus except for the subject. When I move it, it sort of grades, it just sort of blends it in here. So do keep that in mind that this is also adjustable. And for those of you that want to go really down the rabbit hole, you can click on this check mark beside Visualize Depth. This will show you the synthetic depth map. What's in yellow here is basically what is in focus. Yellow means in focus. And then the grades of like red and purple all the way to blue up in the back there are out of focus. So you can go ahead and see it sort of in a depth map type style. And also, if you really want to go down here and you want to set it manually, you can go ahead and do that. Watch this, I'm gonna click on here, and then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm actually gonna change this up a bit, and then watch this, I'm gonna click on Refine, and then you can actually go ahead in here and add and detract from the focus. So I could add focus by brushing. So if I wanted something to be in focus, I've got a pretty big brush here. <laughs> but if I wanted, say, this here, this car here, I wanted it to be kind of in focus, 